Hi, greetings comic lovers. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit different. It's a bit insider baseball, candid, behind the scenes, and I may have a bit less pep in my step behind it. So if you wanna check out a different video or just more standard content, totally understand, and I will see you in the next video. This is gonna be a video about a YouTube error that occurred. I know it occurred across many, many channels. I don't know how wide it was across the entire platform, but what I'm saying is I know I'm not the only person it happened to. It revolves largely around, but not solely around the pregnant Joker video, which is why I put it in the thumbnail, because it was the epicenter of showing the data of what happened. So for those keeping up with the comics, you may have seen there's a lot of discussion, let's use the word discussion, surrounding the pregnant Joker. After much consideration and deciding whether I had something different or interesting to add to the topic and feeling that, you know what, I think I do, and that I can make it fun, I will go ahead with it. So I did, and I had a lot of fun working on the video. There were lots of little jokes and stuff that I got to put in that were a lot of fun. And even though I was a bit nervous about it, because with videos like that, I always try and think of as many perspectives or ideas to bring forth as I can. And I felt that I had covered pretty much all that I could think of. So I was very happy with it from that regard. I am of course sure I missed things. <laughs> there were so many things happening there, but it felt like a good opening to a conversation. And a lot of comments respond in that way. And I saw some very interesting conversations happening. I saw some fraught ones too, but I saw some really intriguing ones. And I was chatting with people. There were all kinds of jokes coming in. It was going really well and it was doing well, which of course as a content creator is always a good feeling. You wanna put a video out there and you want to be seen and you want to be well received. And then the error hit. All of a sudden, a couple of hours after the video went live, its view started rolling backwards, like trying to cheat on an odometer. It just started going down, down, down. More so than is usual because YouTube does adjust views on occasion. It runs this kind of program that's looking for bots, which you may not know because you see them in the comments all the time. Like what? They're actually trying to catch bots. Yes, they are, but they're more concerned with creators botting their views. It's a very inaccurate system. It does not function very well. You'll also find that they do this with subscribers if you're a creator that suddenly sometimes they'll just roll them back. And then that's when you hear people saying things like, oh, I was unsubscribed and I don't even know why. And there's all kinds of theories as to how and why, because nobody really knows or anything works because it's all so nebulous and kept in the dark. So the views start rolling back. And on a first video, this is especially bad because the way the algorithm works is it gauges interest by specifically the amount of interest in the first two hours and then spends it outwards. So this thing appears and suddenly the first two hours of data are gone. And as I'm sitting there, it starts to expand more and more. And I'm like, you know what? This seems like the kind of thing to actually bring up to tech support, which I hate doing because you always know that it's not going to, it's not going to end well and this did not end well. <laughs> I go to tech support and I screen grab not just the pregnant Joker video, but some other videos that's happening to because it's not just happening to that one. This error is affecting a whole block of videos. There's just missing data all of a sudden. It's gone. YouTube ate it. I go, I wait in the queue. So the way it works is there is a chat support on YouTube. It is notoriously not the best, but I do always like to try there first because people always say go to Twitter. It's not that much better. So after waiting for about 15 minutes, which is not a bad wait time to wait for something tech support based or bureaucratic, I get a person, allegedly. I know it was a person later on, but we'll get there. And so I start describing the error that I am having. They ask for screenshots. I provide the screenshots, both of the pregnant Joker video and of the other videos that I've also noticed this error happening on. So I provided two different sets of data just to be like, look, it's happening across the board in this various ways. And then it's the usual, hmm, I need to talk to other people. Can I put you on hold? And I'm like, sure. So by this point, we've been there about half an hour, just chatting back and forth about what is this error. So I'm waiting, you know, watching the thing roll backwards, which as you can imagine is incredibly disheartening. Imagine anything that you create and put out there and then all of a sudden, things just start vanishing off of it. It's disconcerting to say the least. So they come back and their solution is, you have to wait 
72 hours. They then send me a bunch of information about how the first day's views are not accurate. Now all of this is base information. You can find this on the front page. So they're just sending me links to YouTube's own about page. And the thing is, one, I know this already. Two, the vastness of the error does not support what they're talking about in the article. And three, that's not the issue that we're talking about. We're talking about that it's happening across videos and not just ones that have been posted within that first day. This is happening to videos that were posted a week ago. So this is not an explanation that applies to that. This is a weird YouTube error. There's something wrong. It's not registering views that are happening across the board. Wires are crossed. The AIs are fighting. Something has happened. I did save the chat log. So here's what I got back. I know that changing video view accounts can be frustrating. So I provide some information to clarify how it works. Generally, it's normal to see fluctuations in your video views. We know that view counts are extremely important to you. So we work hard to ensure they're accurate. Views can fluctuate daily as traffic behavior changes. And as we update a video's view count, which is not what's happening, because you can see that there's actually just a chunk that's registering zero. So this isn't about a dip or a change in behavior. It's about, it's missing, it's gone. To verify that views are real, we may temporarily slow down, freeze, or adjust the view count as well as discard low quality playbacks. This can cause a video's view count to fluctuate as we verify that the views are accurate. Occasionally when a video becomes popular quickly, it may take longer to confirm that the views are accurate. Now I come in. I'm aware YouTube does this. That does not explain the missing views for several hours. So at this point, they just start sending me links. If you notice that your video's views are consistently dropping, you may want to check out our optimization tips to help increase watch time here. And that's the part that broke me. <laughs> that part entirely broke me. It was because basically what that is saying is that that, oh, this isn't a YouTube error. Your videos aren't popular anymore because you're a bad YouTuber. You've put a bad thumbnail, you put a bad thing. Nobody wants to watch your videos. That's why I look into optimizing your channel. I'm ignoring entirely the stats that were sent. And I'm just gonna say that it's your fault. And that was the part that just completely disheartened and honestly broke me a little bit. This was compounded by hours later having YouTube acknowledge that it is an actual site-wide error. Having a mistake happen is one thing, but then to turn around and have all of your concerns ignored and have it be made out that it's your fault, that it's just that you don't know what you're doing, even though you've come with receipts and other things to explain what's happening. It's crushing. Dealing with YouTube can honestly be very crushing at times. And I don't know, for some reason last night, I think it was a combination of things. I think it was a combination of the fact that it was a video that I was nervous to make, that I was happy how it turned out, that this was just so arbitrary. But on top of that, it was this final response that I think upset me more than the YouTube error because YouTube gonna YouTube, it breaks a lot. <laughs> Lots of these kind of things happen. Uh, this is not even the worst type of error that has happened to somebody. I always think about poor Huts, whose monetization vanished for months on end and he's just been trapped in this cycle dealing with these kind of communications for months trying to get the money that's missing back. A nightmare, a nightmare. <laughs> you can still contact us back after 72 hours if you feel the need to, since we can forward this to our specialist. At this point, I uh, I lost my cool a little bit. I stopped being calm and collected. I turned into the Hulk a little bit. <laughs> Listen, it's clear there's nothing you can do. You just keep repeating the same thing. I appreciate that it's the script you have to say. If there's really nothing to be done in this regard, except wait, I'll stop wasting both our time. To which I get, I do appreciate your kind understanding. There's a tight when I ask if I can request a transcript of this conversation, the sure is misspelled. So I know at least I was dealing with a person. I did not mean to get under their skin. I don't like getting salty like that. I just really was hoping for some kind of actual answer, or at the very least what I was hoping for was a yes, we are aware of this error and we're looking into it. They don't often give you answers like that. I think it's probably for liability purposes. So you don't turn around and be like, ha ha, they've messed up. Now I sue you. It was one of those things where I was about to like hop right on to punchline. I was like, okay, it's time for punchline. I'm in the mood. We just did Joker. Let's do the punchline. I read the issue when it first came out. I was ready to go reread it and script and do the whole thing because I'm enjoying following that series. I was also like DC versus vampires ended. There's a whole bunch of things that I could catch up on there but I found that when I sat down, I just had no pep. I just kept reliving this chat exchange and it just, it bummed me out. I'm not gonna lie, for some reason, 
it got me down. So I slept on it. I took the evening, watched an episode of one of my favorite shows, Due South. I'm not saying it's good, I'm just saying I really like it. And then decided to reapproach it in the morning. And I woke up this morning and the error was worse. So I screen grabbed that the error was worse. It's now missing pretty much the entire nighttime's worth of data, but it's corrected for a certain hour moving forward. Since it's now a recognized error, they may fix it. But at this point, I'm more frustrated with the chat tech support than by the error itself, to be honest. You never know the luck of a lousy cat. You live in hope. This could be one of those times where magically it does show up and get fixed. So if you missed the pregnant Joker video and don't know what I'm talking about, uh, please do check it out. It was a good time. There were some really funny jokes that people left in the comments and that was a really good time. So if you like to laugh and not be bummed out, I recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> go there. <laughs> I know there are certain scripts you have to stick to. I know there are certain things you have to say for reliability reasons and other reasons, but at times it would just be nice to be treated like a person. <laughs> so Pregnant Joker ended up breaking me a little bit in ways that I did not expect because it ended up coinciding with a YouTube error that is now associated in my mind <laughs> with the video and this chat. I know that this was self-indulgent. I just had to, I didn't have to. I wanted to vent a little bit because these kind of things happen all the time. They're just going on in the background. At the end of the day, you do what most YouTubers do. You keep going. You just gotta keep going. You gotta keep creating. Can't stop, won't stop. I'm definitely ready for punchline now. <laughs> just anarchy. Send well wishes and prayers for my next conversation with chat support. <laughs> I'm probably on a list now because of what I said. I didn't mean to get so saucy. I really didn't. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. I hope it was at least a bit interesting into some of what happens behind the scenes. I hope if you did check out the Pregnant Joker video that you enjoyed it, but I'll be back with another video when I can. Uh, thanks so much. I will see you soon. Like, share, comment, subscribe, mostly for comic content, sometimes for random candid content like this. Bye-bye.